hey guys welcome to this tutorial series on design pattern in this video I'm going to cover build a design pattern using a real world life example uh, I'm using chess game for that so let's get started so build a design pattern comes under creational design pattern so we have three types of design pattern creational structure and behaviors so builder design pattern comes under creational design pattern so so I'm going to discuss about builder design pattern then I will be discussing the real world example and then we'll discuss the class diagram and I'm going to implement this builder design pattern using chess game in Eclipse and then we'll discuss the advantage of builder design pattern and JDK implementation so let's get started so builder design pattern is used to simplify creation of complex object okay a complex object here is an object having many attribute so this statement means when we have an object which have many attributes means more than 10 attributes or more than 20 attributes of a class like name is that status so we have so many attributes so so this builder design pattern will simplify creation of such objects okay so to create such objects many parameter need to pass to constructor argument yes so if we have more than 10 number of parameters or variables instance variables variables in a class so we definitely we need to pass those all those parameters into constructor of that class to create the object of that class so passing lots of argument to constructor is bad approach to create objects definitely so we cannot do that so to builder pattern in builder pattern it actually use the mandatory parameter in the constructor and the remaining parameter will be provided to in a class okay so let's say we have 20 parameter in a class so we use only the mandatory parameter that, that is that class have and other extra parameter we will use in inner class that is a builder class to create the object of that class so that's the basic idea behind builder design pattern so let's check out an example of such uh, builder pattern so this is just a small basic class diagram of a chess game where we have chess board we have chess players and we have chess piece so chess piece we have on king screen etc so in chessboard we will have different pieces and then this is this is just a array of different pieces and then player will have name is and rating so this is just a simple diagram of a chess game okay now if you see in the diagram we have a chess game class which have many parameters it has level chess level I mean the game level we have white player, black player, chess boards the, the player which will start the game then we have game start time and game end time so this is a complex object this chess game is a complex object so we can use build a pattern here to divide this object and then we'll create a class a builder class where we'll use only the extra parameters of the chess game in the builder class and chess game class will have only the mandatory parameters okay so so if you see the class diagram with builder design pattern so we will, will have a chess builder in a class which have extra parameters get start time get end time and level so these three are the extra parameter we put these parameter into in a class and chess game will have only the mandatory parameter which are players white black chess board and start game start so let's do it 
using Eclipse. So let's open Eclipse. So this is my Eclipse. Here I already created this design. So I have created chessboard class. So this chessboard class will have chess piece which is a two dimensional array. So it will hold the chess piece. So if you see the chess piece class, this, this is just an abstract class which have a get piece method. So this abstract class will be extend by all these classes like knight, player, uh, knight, queen, rook. So these classes will override this get piece method and from here it will, it will return the particular uh, instance. So here it is returning knight. So for queen, same way it will return queen. So here it is also overriding the get piece method. So now we have to create our complex object which is chess game object. So let's create it. So let's create a class as chess game. Okay, chess game. So this is a complex object that I have shown in my class diagram. So if you open the class diagram, we have chess game as a complex object. So let's first write all the parameters, uh, the variables of this class. So this class have white player and this class will have black player okay so the player to start the game and then we have chessboard and this should be board okay so it should be white so let's create the getter and setter for all these mandatory parameters. So let's do that. Okay. So now uh, we have created this uh, chess game class. So now let's create the all other parameter which are not mandatory. So we have private string level so we have level then we have game start date so it should be date game start date and then we have game end date so this should be java.util package and game end date okay so the, for these three parameters we are we will be creating a builder class so that that will be our inner class so let's create it uh, public it should be a static inner class static so let's give the name as builder in a class builder okay So here we need to pass all these three parameters and let's create the function for each parameter to build it. So let's create a function public level. So this here we have to pass string and this should return a builder. So let's return it from here so this function is used to set the level so this dot level equal to level okay so let's return this from here okay so let's format it Okay, so same way, 
let's create the method for all other parameters so we have game start date and this should be date okay so let's set it and we have game end date so this should be date so let's change it and let's set it here okay okay so our all three parameters of this class we have set it in. so now we need to create a builder function to build all these parameters so let's do it so it should be public and it should return chess game instance okay so let's make it build and this should return new chess game and here pass instance of this class okay so let's return it okay so this function we are creating to actually set all these parameter and pass it to our main class that is chess game class okay so we are good to go now so uh, now we can test it so let's do that or before that we can create a two string method of this class to test it so let's do that public string to string okay so this will return the fields of this class so let's return all okay so we have level we have black player we have white player and we have other parameters so we have chess board and we have game start game and date and we have game start date okay so let's print these parameters okay okay for testing purpose we can just print label um, and game start date and game end date so let's create a main method and inside main method let's create the instance of chess game so let's do that chess game so using this chess game we can build the we can call the inner class so should be chess game dot builder so here we can call all other function like uh, game start date game start date so here pass the date new date we can pass In same way can set the game end date let's pass the new date from here and same way we can pass the level so level is a string so let's keep level 1 okay and let's call the function build okay so as you see like using this approach we can build n number of parameters right now we have only three parameter in the 
builder in a class so in this way we can call as many method and then we can pass the values we can set the values so let's print it before that we can set the values for other parameters the, par the mandatory parameters of chess game class so let's add a player okay so same way we can add white okay and yeah so now we can print it so let's print game object okay so let's run it Okay, so it is running the class. Oh, so we are getting null values. Okay, let's check it. Why we are yeah we are getting null values because because we have created this uh, function, but we are not setting the values. So if you see, we are calling this constructor in the build method, and we are not setting these parameters here. So let's do that. So we can set this dot level equal to builder dot level. So same way we set all other parameters. So we have game start time and we have game end time. Okay. Okay, let's run it. Right click run. Yeah, so we are setting all the parameters, uh, all the mandatory and the parameter which are present in the builder class. So using this approach, we can set as many of the parameters. So we can create separate function for all the parameters and you can return this instance and you can provide a build function which will return the object of the main class and then it will set all the parameters which are setted into uh, inner class that is our builder class so so let's talk about the advantage of builder design pattern so the first advantage is the complex object become more mente Naval if number of field increase yes definitely so the second advantage is builder design pattern give more control over object creation so in we have a JDK implementation of builder pattern which is uh, string builder append method and string buffer append method so these are the um, JDK implementation for builder design pattern so that's all about the builder design pattern uh, in my next video, I will be explaining prototype design pattern, which is which is also a creational design pattern. So, see you in next video. Bye bye.